Hello, everybody. We pray right now in Jesus' name that your eyes and your ears and your mouth and your heart is lined up together so you can speak the Word of God effectively and you can listen to it effectively and it go down into your heart and come out of your mouth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, this is another day of our prayer and fasting service. And uh, we have, I have to tell you this, I can't take credit for the prayer and fasting service. I've heard people say, well, you were so smart doing the prayer and fasting service in September. <laughs> well, I, I can't take credit for that. A couple of us, a little small team of us was going to Africa and uh, I felt like the Lord said, you know, get away and pray. And we got away in a little cabin out by the lake and, uh, and we was out there and I didn't have a clue I mean, I just about, you know, 20 something years old back then. And I didn't have a clue uh, anything about anything. I didn't, I never had no teaching on praying and fasting or anything like that. And so I just kind of would just, you know, take it a moment at a time, take it a day at a time. And there were some world events that happened. I didn't know anything about it because that was before cell phones, if you can believe it. And we didn't have a phone out there or TV or radio or anything out there. We were just spending time praying and fasting. And so, I, and, I, and, and then every year there was, you know, world events happening. That's way back in 85, 1985. And, well, that just kept building. And then up in the 90s, and then, you know, I started noticing Wow, there, it seems like every year in September there's these world events that are happening. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just really, I mean, big world events is changing the whole world in September. Well, so at the beginning of this prayer and fasting time, I just said the same thing the Lord already said, uh, that we was actually changing the world in God's direction by our prayer and fasting service. Like I said, we can't take credit for it or pat ourselves on the back or anything goofy like that because it was His original intent and I didn't uh, know what we was even uh, going on because I was out in the woods praying with the people, you know, in a cabin down by the lake. And so, but now, years later, and you look back and you say, wow, there's been world events happen in September like almost every year. <laughs> well, this is the same with this September. If you've been watching the news at all, or uh, internet news is really better, but if you've been uh, watching, man, we've been having world events almost every day in September. Not every day, but either it was in the making or it was just going right on along. And even today on the news, uh, uh, on the internet news, uh, that there's a world event happening right now. I mean, with our U.S. government, and it's going to affect the whole world the way the whole world does things for God. Amen. So I'm going to share with you some scripture here the Lord's been telling us. And in verse, this is in uh, 1 Samuel, and verse 22, uh, uh, chapter 22, and in verse... 30. Let's start in verse 30. Now this prayer and fasting, we're talking about, you know, spiritual event. We're doing the spiritual part, but it's how you can see it happening in the natural. I mean, some world event stuff is happening. Uh, earth shaking uh, decisions have been made. I mean, some things that was in Bible prophecy for hundreds and hundreds and even thousands of years, they're, we're seeing them coming about right now. So let's look at this. This is what's happened to us personal, okay? This, I mean, praise God for what's going on in the world. Praise God for what the world events. But look at this event that's happening with you. See, with you. You're a part of this too, but look at what happened with you, okay? Verse 30. For by thee, God, I have run through a troop. By my God, 
by His power, by His strength, by His anointing, because we obey Him this prayer and fasting time in September. Have I leapt over a wall? Obstacles. 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 Show Ramoki, Frendiscom, Broca, Talakachi. Obstacles. World events and obstacles that have been in the world's way, especially in the USA. We are on the other side now. We've knocked them down, we've torn them down, we've jumped over them, we spoke to the mountain, it's removed. We're on the other side now, in the victory side, in the power side, in the fresh anointing side, in the fresh oil side. We're on the other side. Let's keep on going. <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> keep on going, says God. You're on your way. We're already there. But you're on the way. Hey, 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 hey. Allow me to pull you on up here. Oh, yeah. Allow me to pull you on up here, and you'll see even clearer, even more. And oh, you'll be glad you stuck with it. You'll be glad you stuck with it in September. Oh, you'll be glad you stuck with it. Ha, 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 ha. You can laugh, jump, and skip your way all the way through. Just forgive and shake all that mess off. Don't get offended. Those are tricks of the enemy. Stay in love. Stay in peace. Stay in forgiveness. And you'll see. It'll all come. It'll all come to you. And you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it. You'll enjoy it. Ha, 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 ha. And not just in the spiritual things, in the spiritual sense, but also in the supernatural coming into your life, in your home, in your family, in your friends. Ha, 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 ha. Even in your finances, says God. Ha, ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you. I know he's going to have a revival right now, but praise God. Just keep going. Take that in. Take it in. Soak it in. Soak it in. Soak it in. Look in verse 31. As for God, His way is perfect. You see that? As for God, His way is perfect. Keep reading. The word of the Lord is tried. He is the buckler. He to all them that trust in Him. Keep on going. Look up in verse uh, 32. For who is God? Save the Lord. And who is the rock? Save our God. And look in verse 33. God is my strength. Who is God? He's our strength. And power. And He maketh my way perfect. You see that? He didn't say He made you perfect. <laughs> but our way, since we're hooking up with His way, then our way starts getting intermingled with His way. And what it does is His perfection it's our way. I mean, he, God makes you look good. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like Noah. Uh, when you obey God, live in faith, uh, you might look stupid, you know, for a little while. But when that rain come, hello, when, that, when, the, when, the rain, when the one raindrop hit them fellas in the head that was making fun of, of, of them, uh-oh. <laughs> he was right. He was right. He was right. You see that? So don't be alarmed about, you know, uh, the natural man don't receive the things of the Spirit. They think it's foolishness. See? Because they're going by their five senses. I mean, the people never saw it rain in the Old Testament like that. God building a boat, and now every single time someone sees a boat, it's designed after the Noah's Ark. So every single time they see a boat, they got to remember Noah. And when they do that, they got to remember God. Ha, ha, ha. Isn't that wonderful? So every time they see something, they're going to re it's going to remind them, you know what? She's got it now. He, 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 he's, he's, he's living on top now. Every single time, they're going to remember God. And their hearts are going to turn to God. Amen. Amen. They're going to cry out. 
Help me. <laughs> Praise God. So, I want to encourage you with this. The Word of the Lord is perfect. It works 100 times out of 100, but you're the one that has to work it. You have to get in it. You have to say it. You have to get it in here. You're not just saying it out of here. You're saying it with revelation knowledge like Ephesians, the first chapter. A supernatural revelation knowledge that you get from irrigating and, and, and stirring it up in the Word and saying the Word instead of saying the five senses and the problem. See, you keep doing that and great things will begin to happen. His Word is perfect. Amen? So Father, we just lift these people up right now. The encouraging Word that You gave us, we just really, really appreciate it. And also the written Word that You gave us, Your Word is perfect. The written Word is perfect. And we thank You. We thank You for what You're doing in our life. We thank You for what You're doing in our government. We thank You for what You're doing in because we know that when our government is humming with God, other governments go along the pattern. See? And, and things are opened up in other governments. See, when the righteous rule, the blessings flow. <laughs> Amen. So, send me a prayer request. That's Mike Riley, 918 North Griffin, Oakmogee, Oklahoma. Zip is 74447. It's a blessing of God on your life. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for your finances. Father, we lift these people up in their finances. Be, just be like uh, Isaac. He sold in famine. He sowed in famine. His neighbors did not sow in famine. They lost everything they had and a lot of them died and their kids and everything else. Well, that don't have to be you. You can be the one that obeys God and sow to the work of God. This is the work of God. Sow to the work of God. And when you do, God takes that, blesses it, multiplies it, and gives it back to you. He sowed in famine. That means he didn't have it to give and he, did, he just gave it anyway. Amen. Give to God first. And see what God does in your life. You can just count the days of blessing. Have a good one. Be blessed now.